Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. If we talk about the indigenous assault rifles, the ghost of Insas starts haunting us. Even after 75 years of independence, India has failed to field any level assault rifle and we end up exporting 6.716 from US and manufacture AK-203 under complete TOT from Russia. What has went wrong with our strategy? What did we lack? Is it the knowledge or lack of experience or poor metallurgy or the dependence on the defense export? In my opinion, it's the option to export the defense hardware from foreign companies. It's always easy to order food from Zomato rather than cooking at home, the latter being a click away, but you cannot eat restaurant food every day and will end up spoiling your health. This is exactly what is happening with our small arms development and procurement. Insas was the only indigenously developed rifle inducted in Indian armed forces in large number. It has faced seas of criticism and concern, but this happens with any technology you try to develop. I'm pretty sure most of you would have heard of M16 assault rifle of the United States. It's the world's most produced firearm in 5.56 caliber category. It has been projected as advanced assault rifle featuring light bullet and was so reliable that it does not require cleaning and the accessories for the same was not even provided in the beginning. When the assault rifle was fielded in the Vietnam War, it was called as a junk by US soldiers. There were a number of serious problems encountered during initial fielding. The rifle was target of criticism because it would unexpectedly stop firing. The fuzzy M16 responded poorly to weight, dirty weight conditions and often jammed during combat resulting in numerous casualties. Keeping the gun clean in the field in Vietnam was difficult. But did US stop the production of M16 and exported the firearms from other countries? No. They further improved the rifle in subsequent versions and Current versions of the rifles are model M16A2 and M16A4. Talking about the India's indigenous assault rifle development capability, recently many private players have ventured in this area with or without collaboration of foreign OEMs. The most prominent name among them is Triple S Defense. Today, we are going to discuss in detail about the T72 series of assault rifles offered by Triple S Defense. The company has offered three different types of assault rifles in P72 series, which includes P72 Recon Carbine with 10 inches barrel, P72 Designated Marksman Rifle DMR with 18 or 20 inches barrel, and P72 Rapid Engagement Combat Rifle Wrecker with 16 inches barrel. From the barrel length, you can identify the role and type of assault rifle. The P-72 Recon Carbine is going to be used as a typical carbine in close quarter operations where mobility and lightweight is important. P-72 Wrecker is like a regular assault rifle like AK-203 used by general infantry or special operatives. The P-72 DMR is an assault rifle whose range is greater than the regular assault rifle like AK-203 and less than a sniper, usually in the range of 300 to 600 meters. The P-72 DMR can engage targets up to 800 meters with 20 to 30 rounds magazine and can be operated with a suppressor. The one commonality in the design of all three P-72 versions is their free floating barrel, which means they are designed to not touch any point along the barrel's length. Anything touching the barrel could exert pressure on it and affects its accuracy and therefore the free floating barrel design is considered as better in terms of accuracy. Another commonality is that all the, these three versions can chamber 7.62 by 39 mm, which is typical AK series ammunition, or 5.56 by 45 mm ammunition used in INSAS. The P72 series also features side folding retractable stock and railed handguard with mounting positions at 3, 6, 9. 12 o'clock in all three versions. The rail top cover allows for every form of optics 
to be attached with the assault rifles. Overall, we can see that Triple S Defense has fielded all three versions of assault rifles for Indian security forces with a decent spec and most of the features needed for a modern day assault rifle. However, when it comes to assault rifles, the most important question is their reliability, which can be only proven when the weapon is tried and tested and used extensively. While there are some news of Triple S Defense weapon being tested, however, there has not been any conclusive update on it. The company has invested more than Rs 20 crore in R&D and IP asset creation which is used for all their verticals including small arms, optics and ammunition. The Make in India initiative has seen the greatest push under Modi government and the small arms of Triple S defense could be much needed and promising option for Indian security forces. Talking about the Triple S Defense, it is a Bengaluru based leading private firm in the development of assault rifles, close quarter carbines, and sniper rifles. The company, besides holding the intellectual property rights, has also got into a joint venture with the second largest ammunition manufacturer, CBC Global Ammunition, Brazil. So far, no Indian company was manufacturing military grade ammunition for the small arms. The Triple S Defense has an 80,000 square foot arms factory at Jigani, Bengaluru, which will be dedicated to the manufacturing of arms, which will manufacture 15,000 arms per annum from the day one during phase one, 45,000 arms per annum in phase two, and can scale it up up to 80,000 arms per annum in some years in phase three. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.